So NBC News did a story that went kind of viral. It's about a family raising their kids without a gender. And I guess that they say later on in their life they're going to let them pick the gender. Um, so let's watch this, and then I have quite a bit to say about it. Are we a normal family? We have two kids. Order Domino's for dinner sometimes. All right, I'm ready to go. In many ways, we fit the, the kind of normal stereotype. Our kids, Caden and Zyler, are three and a half years old, and we're raising them using they, them, their gender-neutral pronouns so that they can decide for themselves uh, when, if, and how they want to identify as a gender. So I think that knowing the sex or the gender of your child is important to other people, partially just because it's part of the social script. They don't notice that they're any different from any other children because they have no idea that some children are she and some children are he. All right. To them, they're all children. Um, so like, they don't notice any difference and the other kids that they're with don't notice any difference. Good job, guys. Have a good summer. A lot of young girls are when they grow up, they're told, you know, don't get dirty, don't do that, that's not safe, be careful, those kinds of things. And then they grow up to think that they're not capable of doing all these things. And then the young boys are told, oh, don't cry, you're okay, be strong. And then they aren't comfortable having emotions, which can cause a lot of problems when they're older. Gender is not something that we have discussed with either of them at all, really. We're as nervous about that as most parents are about, like, how our baby's made. They haven't really asked about it, so we're waiting until that question comes up. I think we're just kind of going to wing it a little bit when we get there. Um, but, you know, telling them that, you know, gender is something that's, that's fluid and, you know, a lot of people have penises identify as being boys, but that that's not something that is necessary if you feel like you're a girl um, and vice versa. There is research that shows when you use gender binaries in our language, when we say good morning boys and girls, or when we just say to our kids, come on girls, or what a smart boy you are, using gender to sort and categorize and label kids, we do know that that increases gender stereotypes. Do you want the hair clip in your hair? Yeah. Do you need help or are you going to do it yourself? As a result of raising our kids as babies, I'm hoping that they'll grow up and be supportive of other people and who they are and how they feel and really confident and happy in who they are themselves. Mm, I think you're overthinking this. I find I think that they think like, oh, society is so obsessed with gender and it's terrible. That's why we're going to do this thing called Thabies. But it's like, actually, no, you appear to be the ones obsessed with gender, and I don't think that society is as terrible on this as you think it is. So, I think the main point I want to respond to here is this, there's an embedded assumption with what they're doing. And that assumption is that being born biologically male or female is inherently oppressive. And that's just not true. It's not inherently oppressive to be born biologically male or biologically female. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a bio... Uh, you know, let's say your biological male son likes gymnastics. You know, or likes Barbie dolls. The problem would be is if in that situation you act like, No, you're not allowed to do gymnastics or you're not allowed to play with a Barbie doll because you're supposed to be a boy. 
and boys wear blue, and boys play sports, and boys are assertive, and if you're not those things, then something's wrong with you. That would be a problem. But they've gone way beyond that notion. What they're saying is, we're just gonna pretend like biological gender is not a thing, and when they grow up, we'll let them choose. Well, I I'm in favor of people having free will and being able to choose whatever the fuck they want to be, but why not default to what they actually are at first and then let them choose accordingly? So if it's a biological male, then yes, you could say boy, you can say he, and if later on they want to play with Barbies, oh, you could say, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and let's say way later on down the road, they, they turns out they're transgender. Okay, then you could call he a she. But this idea of, like, I'm just going to raise... I'm just going to say gender doesn't exist and then let them pick later on. You're definitely overthinking it, and that's definitely kind of silly and kind of weird. So, I, I just... I don't get, like, why this, in, this really intense obsession with the issue of gender as if it, it really is inherently oppressive to be born male or female. There's nothing wrong with being born male or female. And there's nothing wrong, by the way, if somebody's born male and they end up acting typically as the gender stereotype of a male, that's fine. It's also fine if somebody's born a male and they act in the typical gender stereotype of a woman or femininity, if that's a word. I think it is. And, and vice versa. So if a woman's, uh, if, if a, a baby girl is born and then she ends up embodying all of the female, the traditional stereotypical female characteristics, there's nothing wrong with that, and there's also nothing wrong with a baby girl who is, you know, uh, turns out to act in a very masculine, uh, traditionally masculine stereotypical way. I don't see anything wrong with any of that, but I think to try to pretend like the gender's not real, it's just overthinking it, and it's also kind of confusing. Because then, what if the kid's like, I don't get it, which one am I? Am I a boy? Am I a girl? Now, I'm not saying that if they're a boy or a girl that that necessitates they have to, you know, have all of these other traits or things that are stereotypically masculine or feminine. But I'm just saying, there's nothing wrong with saying your biological gender is this. What's wrong with that? I just don't get it. You know, listen, I think people like this, they, they really want to be good people and they want to do the right thing, but they just kind of go down this weird path where they're not focusing on issues that are really the best or the most important or the most dire. And so at the end of the day, they end up in a situation where it looks like they would judge the shit out of people who would just raise their kids with their biological gender. And they think like, oh, are you, what are you putting on your kids by accurately describing how they were born? Nothing. Nothing. They're not putting anything on their kids. They're just accurately describing how they were born. Uh, I, it just seems like they're making a mountain out of a molehill. And then the final point I want to make is this. Listen, they said, oh, they have a Facebook page and they have 221 likes. So in other words, this isn't really a thing. <laughs> like, they tried to make it a thing and NBC News tweeted this out like a thousand times. This isn't really a thing. Like, nobody's really doing this. They're probably the only ones, or there's a handful of them, and then you have 221 people who hit the like button, and then they found some goofy pseudo-expert to say, oh yes, this is the future, and this is exactly what's gonna happen going forward, and it is oppressive if you say a, to a little boy that you're a boy. That ends up having negative consequences down the road. That's not, I'm sure that's not the majority opinion in academia or in whatever field that person is supposedly a part of, so. I just want to be clear that I don't want to blow this up, because I feel like what'll happen is on the right, they'll make it seem like, ha! <laughs> this is a new look. Crazy liberals. Crazy liberals. 99.9% .9 of the liberals are going to look at this and have the same reaction of me, which is, what? So I don't, it's not really a thing. They're trying to make it a thing. But yeah, I do think that on its own merits, you're overthinking it. You're going too far. It's not necessary. You're obsessed with gender as you perceive like it's society that's so obsessed with gender and society is pushing all these evil, oppressive things on people. Not really. I mean, when that does happen, I'll call it out. But that's not, I don't think that's what's happening in most of society. And I think when you do something like this, it's just, you're overthinking it and you're going too far as you accuse others of doing that.